Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Shomu's Biology. In this video, I am going to answer one of your most asked questions that is, can we crack CSINET life science with zoology? Whether taking zoology in your graduation and masters help to prepare for CSINET life science exam or not? I will give you a reality check whether with zoology uh, you really uh, can prepare for CSINET examination. First things first, uh, if you ask me a question straight ahead, whether you are capable of qualifying a uh, CSINET examination with zoology, I will tell you yes, of course you can qualify uh, it with zoology even uh, with any other subject, with any subject of your choice. But with zoology, what kind of advantage you will get? And if you are from zoology background, then what is the special attention that you need? What are the preparation strategies that you should follow to crack CSI net life science exam? So for that, first things first, let's look at the syllabus. Okay, let's look at the syllabus for you. And if you look at the syllabus of your zoology graduation masters with the CSR net, and the syllabus is very much similar. Okay, and as the syllabus is similar, you will get an advantage. So that is one advantage for that. So you have an advantage if you come from a zoology background. There are units which are common for you, and there are units that you should prepare. So units uh, for CSI net which you should prepare as a student of zoology coming in from zoology background. In that case, the unit will be uh, obviously going with not the the class, the, not the modern units. But the classical units. So the classical units is like genetics, that is unit eight. The classical unit is developmental biology unit of five. Plant physiology, nah, no, probably not from a zoology background. Human animal physiology, obviously. Then classification biology, yes. Ecology, environmental biology, yes. Evolutionary biology, yes. So these are the units that is sure shot target for a student coming in from a zoology background to prepare CSR net life science examination. Unit 5, uh, unit 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So there are total 6 units. And on an average, you can expect uh, 5 questions on average uh, from all these units. So 30 questions at least in part C you can ex expect from there. Okay. And also again, another uh, in case of uh, let's say 18 question approximately in uh, part B, you can expect 18 to 20 questions. So from this zoology background only you can expect. But I believe in zoology syllabus, you have already uh, read and prepared biochemistry, parts of cell biology, molecular biology. So those are the subjects like unit 1, unit 2 and unit 3 are some things that I'm, I think you are still little bit of aware of. So these units 5, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11 should be your prime target, target number 1. Then the lesser target will be this one, unit 1, 2 and 3. And if you combine them together, then you will get 9 units and that is kind of sufficient for qualifying CSI net life science examination if you prepare them to the depth of knowledge that you prepared your existing known units. I always tell my students to start your preparation from a unit that is familiar to you because you can conquer that faster. So if you reach that faster, then you can read the other units with much higher confidence. Okay, that is an approach that you can take right now as a zoology background, as a zoologist, you know these units and then one, two and three modern biological units, biochemistry, cell biology, molecular biology, at least a part that you know, input some of your knowledge from those and you will be ready to go for your upcoming CS100 life science clear and qualification. Okay, that's something that you need to know. So if you have time after all these nine units, then I'll add one more unit. This is unit number 13, which is biological techniques. You can add them and that will give you 10 units out of 13. And remember this 10 out of 13 units that you prepare is good enough, sufficient enough for you to qualify the exam to get enough number of questions to attend and to get a score to qualify the exam. Okay, But again, like every stream, whether you belong to zoology, botany, biochemistry, uh, bi microbiology, biotechnology, human physiology, there is only one exam that is CSI net life science exam that you need to appear. And also, while you appear in this exam, remember to practice. Practice is the key and for practice, you need mock test series. You need a proper guidance and if you need this guidance, Shomu's biology is here always for you 
the free lectures are out there in YouTube. You, if you can't afford anything, you can go with them. You can qualify even watching those lectures. But if you need a special personalized plan and guidance, you can join our online coaching or you can get our study material package. The details are there in the description and you can simply uh, contact us by the given number that is there in this video. So I believe it's a helpful video for you. What to do, what not to do from a zoology background to qualify. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video, subscribe to get more videos like that. Thank you. Bye.